yeah, uh, yeah. You uh, want to play around? Uh, uh, profile. You, you want to play around? You want to play around? You want to play around with God's word? You want to play around? You want yeah. to play around? You want to play around with God's word? Uh, yeah. The perverted one. Uh, you want to play your rap, you want to play your rap, you hey, want to play yeah. your rap with God's word. Yeah. You want to play your rap with God's word. Uh. You want to play your rap, you want to play your rap, you want to play your rap with God's word. Yeah. So check yeah. this out, you know what I'm saying? Uh. It's a shame how, you yeah. know what I'm saying, people get together, uh. they want to play your yeah. and talk about God's the word. word. Uh. I mean, that's what we need, you know what I'm saying? But uh, what, what? What I, what I come here to talk about is put the down. wisdom from the spirit. Snipers, you know, down. it's a shame how people, you know, live their lives the way they want to live it. Instead of the way the Lord wants them to live it. You know what I'm saying? Even though no, they know he died by our sin. You know, people want to talk about the Bible being tampered with the word. You know, this word is true. That scripture is not true. Because of how I feel and how I want my satisfaction. First Corinthians 13 11 it speaks on when I was a child I thought as a child but now that I became a man I think as a man which is adult people it's for you ignorant people out there don't know what I'm saying as a child you do childish things but as an adult, you put away childish things, huh? This video, I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, James. One of my ultimate fans of Set Apart the Serve channel. And this one right here, the Nazarite Lifestyle. I want to give a big ups to J-Mo. You know who you are. Big ups to you, bro. Um, this channel, I said I was going to make it more exclusive. I'm grown, I'm not a child, and I want to talk specifically to grown people, even though, uh, 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 you, you know, for the most part, it's grown, immature people out there, it's, it's uh, childish adults out there, but yeah, I'm talking to you too, because you're supposed to be an adult, at your age, you're supposed to be grown, if you are over 21, this video is for you. This channel is for you, whether you like it or not. I can care less about gaining subscribers and gaining thumbs up. I, I, I would love to get subscribers. I would love to get the thumbs up. Yes, I would love it. But if you don't want to subscribe or if you don't want a thumbs up because you don't like the message that's coming to you through these videos, then I can care less. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to please, man. I'm here to help. Man, that's a difference. You got all those YouTubers out there that's 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 trying to please people to gain something from them with all their little YouTube awards and stuff like that. Now nah, that's fake. Yeah, most of them are fake YouTubers. Now, nah, now nah, I'm 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 coming one hundred. Most one hundred YouTubers will have low views. Anybody trying to hear us? This, this channel is coming raw. So, it, it, I'm going to tell you right now, before I go further, I'm just going to give you a warning. If you don't want to hear real messages, if you don't want to hear the real, click it off right now. For those who like to use people, take advantage of others, and then when you don't get your way, you want to boohoo and poot and pout and play victim because you didn't get your way. Uh, let's say, for instance, uh, getting rides back and forth to work, getting rides back and forth to home or whatnot. Now, if you are this person who wants somebody to keep helping you because you can't, you know, get ahead in life, you can't find somebody to take you home, you can't find somebody to take you to work, to church, babysitter, or whatever, okay, well... Who problem is that? I'm going to let you figure it out. Who problem is that? Is it the person who you asked to give you a ride or is it your problem? 
I come across a lot of people who always blame everybody but themselves because they can't make it to work. They can't drop their babies off. They can't go pick up their babies. I can't pick my son up from the daycare because I ain't got no ride. I ran out of gas. Well, what you want me to do? Um, I pick them up in the morning. Well, that's going to be another fee. Why you got to charge me extra money for that? What are you talking about? This is tiny. I'm keeping your baby. You got to come get him up. Man, what's wrong? Everybody can't, you can't help people nowadays. You know, there we go with the Putin powder. Hey, I can't get no rap to work. Well, I ain't coming in then as if it's the boss uh, uh, problem or it's the boss fault. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't get the work. Come on. What, what, what's going on? What is going on in society? Now, let's not get things twisted. You got a lot of shenanigan people out there. <clears throat> Some people, you want to give it the benefit of the doubt. People just don't act like that out of the blue. I don't know for a fact of why people act the way they act. Uh, but uh, it's coming to be habitual from where I'm at. It's coming to be habitual. So, you know, when, when, when you have an habitual situation going on, like a domino effect of people acting the same way, shenanigan, something is wrong. Something is, is like a host of some type of illness that's carrying on around there and is spreading throughout the place where everybody else is acting shenanigan. I don't have proof of why everybody is acting the same way. <laughs> but it's a problem with a host. With a host somewhere. But let me get back on the subject. When you as a grown person, as an adult, you can't get banned life for some reason. You need to go pray to God. That's the last thing people want to do is talk to God. I get it. Well, from that point on, you won't get no help. Huh? Was that too deep? From that point on, you won't get no help then. If you don't go to God for any problems you may have in life or within yourself, if you don't feel like going to God for whatever shenanigan reason, then you won't get it. Now, with that decision that you've made, you may think all day and try to find all type of solutions to your problems, but you won't be successful because it's you that's trying to figure it out. And so when you whatever you touch that's trying to you trying to succeed with solving that problem without God. Which you've excluded. So you you in the middle you trying to figure everything out. Which you way in the way to try to figure out your circumstances. You're going to be disappointed. And in the middle of you being disappointed. You're going to be blaming other people. For why you can't succeed with what you was trying to succeed with on your own. Because you didn't feel like going to God. The reason why you need to go to God about all your problems. Because he's a problem solver. Not you. It's obviously you're not the problem solver. You probably won't get yourself in that problem in the first place. Huh? <laughs> you can't get yourself in a problem. Put yourself in a problem. Think you're going to dig. You're, think you're going to dig yourself. You're going to need some help. You're going to need some help. Now, if, if you ask God to help you and he brings somebody along to help you throughout your circumstances, which is a blessing, right? So, if someone come and help you out of your circumstances, take it as a blessing. But don't take it as a, as a, a, a bruising blessing. Don't abuse the person who, who just helped you. A lot of people tend to abuse the help. And when you, when you continue to abuse the help that, that's been given to you, the help is going to get tired. Of helping you, huh? See, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this in a in a in a respectful way, but at the same time, I want y'all to feel what I'm saying as adults. Once again, you may not like what I'm saying through this video, but it needs to be told and it needs to be heard. The person that's trying to help you in society or people. You cannot abuse the help that's being given to you. Because once you abuse it, 
You're not going to no longer get that help from them peoples or that person. And when you realize that you've messed that up, you cannot play victim and blame that person for not willing to help you anymore. Is what I'm saying, people. Quit playing victim. When it's you who's the problem. Because what's going to happen is if you don't want to look at yourself as a problem, that person's going to get tired of helping you. They are they going out the picture. So now you're going to boo-hoo and play victim with somebody else who don't know the whole problem because there's always two, two sides of a story. So you're going to boo-hoo to this person, and this person may, man, okay, let me go on there, may pat you on the back and say, okay, because they don't know what's going on on the other side of town. So they say, okay, cool, we got your story. So I've gone on to help you. And then when you turn around, like, okay, yes. I got another fool. Within yourself, you say, oh, I got another fool. And this person may help you. You're going to take advantage of that person, too. <laughs> and then you're going to play victim again. See, it, it, these are wicked, willing people. You're wicked, willing people. I, 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 I could be making these type of videos. All I can go all day making these type of videos. And... And people not gonna feel me because by choice they don't want to hear me. Somebody may put in the comments, "Well, you know, I think you're being a little rough. Everybody gonna need some help once in a while, but you're not getting the point of this video." We talking about people who's irresponsible and people who take advantage of others who's willing to help them within their irresponsibility in life. We talking about grown people who choose to be irresponsible. Grown people who may have a downfall, but once they get the help, they abuse the help that they get in life. They abuse it, and then when they abuse it, they get that person who was helping to get tired of them, and they walk away. And then the person realizes, I can't get no help no more, and they play victim. I'm about to kill myself. I'm about to just jump off the building. Uh, I'm about to pop a thousand pills. Well, go pop them then. Go, yeah, go do that. Jump off the cliff. Go ahead. Ain't nobody going to stop you. If that's what you choose to do, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. You become one less of a problem, one less of a headache we got to deal with. Oh, I'm coming wrong. No. Move out the way, y'all. They say they're going to jump. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Go ahead. We ain't got to worry about you tomorrow. We ain't got to worry about you next week. Go kill yourself. Go ahead. We have to move forward. We got to live and learn. Everybody make mistakes. People make consistently make mistakes. But you have to learn from them. Not keep making the mistakes. You're going to become 60, 70 years old and don't know nothing but the mistakes you're making. You keep living it. You ain't going to be able to teach your grandkids nothing. You're not going to be able to teach your niece and your nephew. You ain't going to be able to teach nobody nothing. And then when you think you're teaching, you, all you're doing is be, being a blind person, leading the blind. Don't nobody want to gain wisdom because it's too much like right. See, when you, when you gain wisdom, a, a change come about wisdom. You have to change. <laughs> you can't be a fool all your life if you want wisdom. God not going to bless you with wisdom so you can continue to be a fool. That don't, even, that don't even make no sense. Once you receive wisdom and you start teaching, you learn, you live in different because you, you become wise. So you make wise decisions, wise choices in life. And then you'll be, you'll be able to teach others about their mistakes in life. So you have to change in order to teach change. I, that's what that can't stand about a person. A person who is quick to try to teach and tell somebody something, but they ain't changed themselves. I can't stand them type of people who be quick to try to tell you about your health, your weight loss, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, oh, your relationships, <laughs> how to save money, and they always broke. I can't stand people who be so quick. To try to help you in your life circumstances. And they're all jacked up. 
<laughs> and then when you try to tell them something, teach them something, oh, no, you can't tell me nothing. Cognitive dissonance kick in, can't tell me nothing. You know, I've been doing this and that, and that. I got 50 years on you. Man, I've been doing this for 29 years. I've been doing this for 19 years and, and jacked up. Jacked. Uh, I want. I would be embarrassed to tell somebody how long I've been doing something. And ain't ain't seen no change. <laughs> ain't no change happen. Ain't nothing better come about. Nothing but more and more problems. Digging myself deeper, deeper in the ditch. But yet, um, hey, I've been doing this for twenty some years. I've been I've been doing this for thirty. Yo, shut up. Get out of that ditch. Get that's what you do. Get out of that ditch. <laughs> Yo, man, let's get it together, yo. Let's go. This channel right here, finna. I'm telling you, I'm finna come a thousand percent on you. I'm finna come a thousand percent, and I'm trying my best not to use profanity because I have to lead by example, y'all. But feel what I'm saying without the profanity use. A lot of people can't really express themselves and come 100, you know what I'm saying, without cussing because cussing sometimes sound and feel good, you know what I'm saying. That's because we don't have the the appropriate words to use behind using prophetic. And sometimes we may have to, you know, boom, go there a little bit, but I, I don't want it to be that derogatory because it's supposed to be of God at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So take heed to what I'm saying so I won't have to go there. So I won't have to peel heads back, man. Peace.